I'm going to try and use the other holding device. It's better for demonstration. The blade should shoot clear of the, uh, of the holder. Take another one off right next to that one. Take another one off next to that one. This next one's going to be a little bit more risky because it's so narrow right in here, the ridge. So again, I'm going to have to put the tip of the flaker back further away from the edge. Hopefully it will go all the way. Okay, we're running out of platform here. We've got uh, well, at least a couple more blades we can remove, maybe five or six at the most, but we'll go for the next two here and see how it looks. This one here will be my next one right here down this face of this thing. It's kind of wide, so I don't want to uh, set my the tip of my pressure flaker very far over. Okay, I've got the tip really close to the edge here. And I'm hoping the platform doesn't collapse. It may, but we'll see what happens. Because it's a wide blade, it's going to take a lot of force. Okay, I'm going to have to use a smaller holder here because the notch in the other one is simply too big for this small diameter cord now. Should be the last blade. Well, this is what happens towards the end. It went down to there. It might have got hung up in this holder here. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to try and remove another one here and clean that up a little bit. Took a few percussion flakes off in here to straighten that out a little bit. It's a pretty narrow ridge, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll give this a try. I'm not so sure it's going to go. I think the holding device is too short. It's allowing this thing to, to move before the blade completes its travel. We'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, I clean that up partially. I don't know whether I can get one in there or not. But, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, I tried to straighten that up as best I could. I have not, not a lot of confidence that it's going to actually go. Here's the platform. Here's the ridge. So it's going to start off narrow and then it's going to have to expand, which is asking a lot for a blade to do, but we'll see what happens. Okay, take a lot of pressure probably. I may truncate the core. So I'll try to go out just a little bit. That 
took a little bit off the end of the core, but not too bad. Okay, here's the blade. You can see the end work took off a little bit off the end of the core right there. We cleaned it up a little bit. Might get one more in here. I'm not sure. Okay, here's our platform. There's hardly anything left, so this will almost surely be the last flake. We'll either make it or break it. Take a few more percussion flakes off here, just trying to straighten everything out. We'll give her a try. Well, it went, but it veered off to the side. Interesting. Well, here's our finished core over here on the right. I'd need to remove one more blade on the back side there in order to uh, fix that error, but I don't think I can pull it off, so I'm going to leave it like it is. Uh, it's a shame, too, because it really had some nice rainbow effect in there. Some of these blades are just about six inches long, and I wanted to show a close up of the tip of this. As you can see it's not real sharp or pointy or anything. It's just uh, rounded a little bit. But you have to be careful where you place the tip. You don't want to place it too far back or you'll never get the flake to release. So maybe on another day I can get this last blade removed and get this thing fixed up. but. It'd be, uh, be pretty hard to do with no more platform than that left. And that's probably it on the blade core series. I think I'll do another one using a flint or a chert here in the next few weeks. But uh, I've done it with smaller ones. I've never done it with a really large piece of chert. So we'll give that a try and see how that goes. And that'll do it for now. And I finished up another core that had a, a pectin ground platform here and uh, probably because I wasn't videoing this when it came out a lot better but I got some nice blades off of it I would like to make one request of anybody out there who might be watching these videos if anybody out there has any uh, authentic uh, blade cores any pictures of authentic blade cores especially from Mesoamerica or from Europe I'd really like to see them I haven't uh, been able to find too much on the internet and I'm really interested in seeing the platforms, and, and uh, uh, I don't have much information on that. So that would help me out. So thank you. Bye.